Hey guys, this video is going to be my spring essentials. I have a couple items about beauty and fashion and a couple extras slipped in there um, that I am looking forward to using in the spring um, and wearing. And this is a collab with 12 other wonderful ladies here on YouTube. So I will link below the playlist where you can see all of our spring essentials um, as well as all of their individual links. And there's some wonderful groups, so make sure you go check them out. So I I will start with face. Now, this is the Kula Mineralizing Sunscreen, and I talk about this all the time because really I think you should be wearing sunscreen all year round, even if you live in where I live, Victoria, where it's not sunny all year round. Even now, it's like a cloudy overcast day and it's like the end of April. Um, but this is it's just great, and with this one, it is actually the tinted one. So it has a very slight, um, kind of peach tint to it. Um, it doesn't offer too much color. It's not so much like a BB cream or even a CC cream, but it's just, it's SPF 30 and it leaves my face really matte. So this is what I use as a primer. And I've done a full review on this and I, I absolutely love this. This is like my sixth or something bottle. Um, so I'll link that review below, but definitely this is a big favorite and it's great for spring. So then this next item is a kind of a gradual face self tanner. Um, so this is just a sample. I got it in the, for not the Christmas, but Black Friday deals from Sephora. So this is the Vita Liberata Tinted Self Tan Lotion. And this is in light. Um, now on its own, you can kind of see it's, well, I'll do a little, that's just like a tiny little dot. It's so dark. So actually I don't use this on its own. I mix this with my the tinted moisturizer and then apply that to my face. Uh, and I don't do it very often. I probably do it maybe like once or twice a week, but it doesn't have that sickeningly kind of chemical smell that self bronzers or self tanners usually do. And it hasn't broken me out. Um, when I first tried this back kind of in December, it I thought it broke me out, but I've been using it now just mixed every so often and it doesn't seem to. Um, I don't notice that much of a difference because I'm not using it every day and I'm using it with other things, but it's still good enough. Because in the winter, I mean, I don't want to look super orange or like tan, like an Oompa Loompa or anything. Um, but now that we're getting into spring, I don't mind having a little bit more color, but I'm not going to get color naturally here. So yeah, that's why I do it. And then I have a couple other items um, regarding kind of a nice bronze face. I have two bronzers that now I've been using more for spring. Before, I would always use my Physician's Formula Mosaic one. It's just very matte and just you can choose kind of how dark you want it and it didn't really you know, give that much bronze or contour. So the two that I'm going to be using for spring and it'll carry into the summer definitely are a lot darker. Um, so this is one. It's also Mosaic. It's the Essence and this is in Sunkissed Beauty. Now this is pretty powdery, um, but you can kind of see it there. And then the other one is Star Looks, and this is in the color Montego Bay. So you can see, I haven't used this one too much. I could use it today and a couple days ago too, but you can see that one is definitely a lot darker. And these ones, they have a bit more of that kind of bronzy glow and the shimmer, whereas my other one was just complete matte. So that's why I don't mind using these ones in the spring and summer. And then also it is my Benefit Sunbeam. This is an item that I've repurchased over and over again. I tend not to use it in the winter just because why would I have a sunbeam glow in the winter? Um, I know some people do, but I just don't. And so this one, it comes here and I use it as my highlighter. Um, yeah, it's barely noticeable, but just to give kind of the tops of my cheeks just a little bit of color as opposed to doing just like a pink or something. I like going with a little bit of bronze. So the next four items are for your lips. Um, I wear pretty neutral looks or eye looks throughout the year. That's why I don't have any eyeshadows that are like a spring must have or spring essential. Um, because honestly, I wear my neutral brown bronze eye all year round. Um, on, like, if we go out, then I'll do something different, but it's usually this. So I kind of switch up my look with lipstick and lip gloss. So the one that I have on my lips right now is this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Luster. And this one is in the color Flashy. So it is what I have on currently. And I will swatch it here. 
so it adds a lot of shine. Um, these don't stay on all day, you know, they're not the perfect, you know, it's more just like a gloss, but they're still pretty good. And so then another lip pencil is the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil, and this is in Honey Nectar. It's not as bright, but it's still a nice pink color. And I realize I could wear these all year round, but I tend to have the darker colors more in the winter, as everyone does. So the next item is also from Tarte. This is the Tarte Glamazon Lipstick in Bold. And yeah, the packaging, I don't think the bottom package is supposed to come off, but that's okay. Um, I think, yeah, maybe it is. So this is a very nice coral. And this one definitely has a lot of color payout. Actually, they all do, but I mean, this one, yeah, it's, it's a super kind of nice coral, deep coral color. And then the last lip item is just this lip gloss. This is Rimmel's Vinyl Gloss Voluptuously Shiny Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Be Famous. So, it actually has a lot of color payout for a gloss, so that's really nice. So then going away from makeup, now I was going to include some nail polish because I love spring nail polish, I love nail polish in general, I have, I don't know, like over a hundred bottles, um, actually I fill up two of those 90 racks, so over 180 bottles, um, but I figured because I have so many and I have so many spring favorites, I will do a separate video on that, so in the next couple weeks stay tuned for that. So for candles, um, I only, I don't want to say I only recently started getting into candles, but before I just didn't use them. When I lived a couple years ago back at home um, with my parents, my room was so messy because honestly I'm not a neat person. I am not. Um, and if you just have one room and you're a messy person, I, I mean I didn't want to burn candles and risk burning anything. But now I have a whole house so I can actually spread things out like, actually that's probably a little close to the plant. Um, but usually I don't have the candles there. <laughs> I have that one just on our dining room table, um, but um, I have been liking more candles recently. So the one that I absolutely love is the Peach Bellini from Bath and Body Works. And I mean, I know this is a big favorite, but it's really good. Um, and that's the Caribbean one that Chad chose. So I don't mind it as much, but Peach Bellini is the one that I really, really like. So you can see this one has a lot more out of it, whereas that one is probably still kind of just at the top level. So then going back to kind of body and skin, I guess. Um, in the springtime, my hands aren't as dry, so I don't need to use like a super heavy duty moisturizer. Um, in the winter, I use ones that just are like unscented or they smell kind of disgusting, but they really work. But now that we're getting into spring, my hands are not as dry, so I can use moisturizer. So that does moisturize a bit, but it just smells really good. And I, I haven't found like a super good moisturizer that smells delicious. I, in the winter, I use a Neutrogena one or a Burt's Bees one. Um, so anyways, in the spring, I like this Victoria's Secret, and this one is an apple teeny. So that one smells really good. Actually, I think this is a while, I got this a while ago, but it still smells really good. And then for perfume, I, this is also a favorite, but I wear perfume more in the spring, um, spring and summer. So this one, it's a very well-loved bottle. Um, it's in a little roller bottle. So this is actually already my second bottle of it, but um, it is Sula's Champagne. So I like this because it has definitely hints of vanilla, um, and actually it's very vanilla-like, um, but it still smells sweet, but not overly sweet like pink sugar, which I love. I still have bottles of pink sugar. Um, but now I'm like 27, so I was like, oh, maybe I should not just smell like a candy bomb all day. Um, so this one, it has those hints of sweetness and vanilla, but it also has a bit more of a, I don't know, more mature or like a musky scent as well. It's not just like sugar bomb overload. Um, so I really like this. I mean, I usually just dab like a little bit kind of under my ears or on my neck, just, but yeah, it just smells really good. So getting into fashion, I have a pair of earrings that I've really been loving. I've only had them about a week and a half, but I wore them almost every day and I had three different people on different occasions compliment me on them. And I don't think anyone has, well, maybe like rarely people compliment me on my earrings. So I don't know, I just really like them. I will be doing a haul where I'll show them in more or talk about them more where I got them. Um, I have, I already filmed a haul where I got 12 items for under $11. Um, so I will be doing it, but, but these are the earrings and they are like little cherry blossoms. 
So it's hard to kind of see because I have a really bright light in front of me, but half of the little pretend crystals are pink and half are white. So it looks totally like a cherry blossom and it's just, it's just really pretty. So just two more items. So the first item are shoes. So these ones, I just like having a bit more of a, a pop of color in what I wear. I wear pretty much the same type of stuff every or all throughout the seasons. Um, obviously I'll be putting a coat or wear an extra layer if it's in the winter um, and then shorts in the summer but now we're getting into spring so even if I'm wearing you know pants I can brighten up my look with these nice flats. So I just got them, they're American Eagle brand. I got them from Payless um, I think a year, actually yeah a year ago um, before my last cruise. Um, so just really bright and pink um, or I guess coral as well. And then the last Last item is a scarf. Um, I even though I mean this is a light scarf and I could wear it in the winter, but in the winter I either like wearing a, a functional like woolly scarf that's gonna keep me really warm, or then just no scarf at all. Um, so when we're getting into the spring, I love wearing kind of just a nice light scarf, um, just to brighten up everything, like brighten up my face and. I have a purple one as well, but I really like this mint one. Actually, I should have just worn this for my video. Well then. Anyways, um, yeah, I got this at Target, I think a year and a half ago, or maybe even two years ago. Um, but it's just, it's nice and long, and it has a little bit of tassels at the end, but it's just a beautiful mint color. Uh, so that is all of the items that I consider my springtime essentials. I hope you guys liked it, and make sure to check out the other 12 ladies in this collab so you can see what their springtime essentials are. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're new, make sure you subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.